Hello and welcome back to Zoplay's Hand of Fate. Since the last video, I have actually gone into the settings and messed around with the audio so that sound effects and music aren't as loud as the dealer. So hopefully the dealer's voice will be a lot clearer now. Uh, as you can see next to him on his right, there is a cup floating in the air. Uh, he'll probably mention that in just a second. Let's go. Another round, and our game truly begins. Queen of Dust. Uh, she's got curses, money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. And the dealer is going to add in challenges. Uh, three, rockfall encounters and three good fortune encounters a bold woman this one she did not collapse when the empire did no she took up arms organized her people and vowed that in a country where death had gathered she would be the one dealing it let's go into deck builder and yes i want recommended Get back out. I don't want to see what it recommended. Now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. His symbols will um, add good things and bad things for all future bosses once they are unlocked. And I think there are three, three or four. I've added some cards to spice up the game. Spice. In addition to the pain and gain decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. Oh, I will. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few minutes, a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. I have no gold to give you. Uh, and I think... Bread from my plate actually only gives one food, so I will give you that. He considers the bread seriously, before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Yep, one food. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't seen you before, have I? Draw one shield card. Nope, just a normal shield. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Gonna go after that sword. Yep, climb down and retrieve a weapon. Well, could be any kind of weapon, not just a sword. Choose from these. Oh, that's easy. What do I get? One weapon card. Frostfang. Ice. Equipment with this trait is imbued with glacial power. Lizardmen are especially susceptible to ice damage. 25 damage. Each hit slows the target with cold. Press left bumper to shoot a cone of ice. That's definitely better than my you. rusty axe. Deeper towards our foe. Well, I actually don't want to take that back. Uh, take that back. Take that yet. I want to go to this final card. Maze of Traps. 
You found a goblin treasure cave. Will you enter? Yes. Continue. Tell me about my weapon ability. That's wait a second. I was about to say that won't help, but maybe it does. Can I freeze that? Nah, I didn't think so. Oh crap! Crap! I hit the wrong button. I hit attack instead of dodge. Oh come on! Get over this and wait for this fire to go through. I believe this is the same layout as last time. It can actually be different layouts. Gotta hit. Slip through. Ignore the pots. Jump! And go! And I got to the end with only getting hit twice, apparently. What do I win? Three gain cards. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Got a helmet. Gold. A little gold to give you a taste for it. And another helmet. Which one do I want? Reveal stairs encounter upon entering a level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level, or any healing that your player receives is doubled. I'm gonna go with healing, so equip that. Uh, after opening the chest, the traps lay dormant and you make your way back to safety. Now take the stairs. Were you hoping this was the end? No, another floor awaits. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. That's fine with me. There's a new one. Rockfall. A terrifying walk to get to the Queen. So many potential places for an assailant to get the upper hand. Uh, someone's knocked the rocks onto me. While journeying near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Attempt to dodge the rocks. Oh my goodness. There was a huge failure in there, and I think I'd die if I hit huge failure. Oh no. You slip and stumble into the path of the rockfall. The dealer draws you two pain cards. I guess I don't die. Oh dear. Took damage and I lost max health. No, both of those were max health loss. Oh man, you hear a voice somewhere above you say, Did I hit him? Run up to attack the bandits or flee. I gotta get some revenge here. Five bandits, no problem. And skip. Think you can drop rocks on me, do you? I bet you won't even hit me once. You're lucky that I stumbled and fell into the rocks. Shield bash. Oh, shield bash. Get out of the way. And. Oh. Shit. 
shield to the chin. Two equipment cards for looting their bodies. Consuming Poison. shame. It's the tool of the traitor. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. Artifacts give you powerful abilities to use in combat. That would be good because uh, I can drain them, drain their life with poison and just run around and avoid them now that I've got less max health. Move quickly from here. There is little material gain to be made. This helm imbues the wearer with greater movement speed. Well, that would help with running around, but I think I will keep my healing cap because I'm gonna need to get as much healing as possible. Oh, no, I applied it anyway. Let's see, you can inventory. always review your cards here. Helmet, put on the healing cap. Continue. A new shop. Approach the shop and let's see if it has Anything I can get for 25 gold. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Go ahead and sell these helmets that I'm not using. What do you have? Things I haven't seen yet. Chains of Rage. During combat, strikes sustained from bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldowns. Desperate Measures. This mace inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder is. Well, that would actually be pretty good if I could afford it since I automatically have lower health. Unless it's a percentage of max health, then it wouldn't be too good. No, oh, even if I sold Frostfang, I wouldn't have enough. And I'd rather hold on to the poison. See about some food. Yeah, I guess I could just go ahead and get it. I mean, go ahead and spend the 30 gold. Almost everything I have. Yes, I want to leave. Next. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. One day, in the shitty forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? I could ask for... gold, and then go back to the shop. Merith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin. But very well, if that is your wish. Three gold gain cards 20 gold 25 gold yep more I have gold enough. for you and with it more problems it is said that a that sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of lady luck's contrary nature farewell mortal let's head back to the shop got 67 gold to spend now I will buy... Oh, it <laughs> changed the order. Yep, let's take this. I'm impressed. 
Few select these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. Such misplaced confidence is usually their downfall. While he was speaking, I thought second of it. Thought, thought second of it? Had second thoughts. Ah, I will take an this. Excellent way to turn an injury into an asset. I'll take this armor because it's medium, which is better than my light. And if I get hit with bows or wands, I don't even know if there are any bows or wands on this. Well, if there are, it can reduce the cooldown of my Frostfang's uh, Cone of Ice. So take this. Interesting choice. And then there's just plain old medium armor there. I cannot sell my light armor. Let's buy one food for having gone back to the shop. One food to get away from the... Nah. Two food to get away from the shop. Spend the food and one more. Helpful priest. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no trap with any of it. There's a token in it for you if you win. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Give the priest half your food or decline. Sure, take half my food. I want that huge success. I got a feeling it's this one. Yes. I should get what, two, two blessings. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. Self-righteous. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. So, getting two blessings means I'll be doing four more damage than normal. Useful. Arcane Knowledge. Whenever the player uses an artifact, such as the poison one I have, there is a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. Well done. Thank you. Hitch a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Certainly. Indeed. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. You have discovered the exit to this area. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. You are close on her trail, and more confident than I had imagined. Perhaps you will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. Another rock fall. Again, the stones tumble upon you. My only option is to attempt to dodge. I haven't got a clue. Not a clue where anything went here. Failure. Well, this is not huge. While fleeing, you are struck by several rocks. One pain card. More max health Ouch. loss. Just when you think it's over, a large rock bounces off your helm. Looking up, you spot bandits on the hill above you. You hear a voice somewhere above the above you say, Did I hit him? Run up to attack the bandits. Five bandits again. Go ahead and skip. Me, ooh. Me freeze you. No? 
Wrong button. Freeze. Stay cool. So I say reflect. No, oh, counter. Counter! Counter him! I only hit one. Ah, he hit me. Oh! I think that's how it ended last time, too. Shield straight to the chin. I'm down to 75 health. You loot the bodies of the fallen bandits. Two equipment cards. Medium Strictly armor. average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. Maybe. I declined it. Um, mercenary contract once per combat. Press right bumper to activate an aura that makes every successful strike drop gold. No, I want to keep really? my... Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. I want the poison. What good is gold going to do me against the Queen of Dust? I need to poison her. New card. Treasure chest. A treasure chest? What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. The chest may the chest may hold great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. Approach the treasure chest. Success. The hall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. Win this and claim my token. The treasure chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Attempt to pry it open. I have a pretty good chance here. This one. I was so close to being to failing. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Four gain cards. Wow. Draw three from the armory and keep one. Fortitude's Breath. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Every third encounter does not consume food. Press B button to shield bash a target stunning it. Only have seven food left. Helm of, of course defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. Helm of Reflection. Upon reflecting a projectile, this helm creates a small force explosion. And then Desperate Measures, the one we tried to buy. Prepare for bad times, savor the good. More damage, the lower the health of the wielder is. I'm going to take... See how many cards I can I can barely see because of fortitude. I think there's one, two, probably four cards left. That's plenty of food. I can't heal in the middle of battle. So Helm of Reflection. I'm sure your opponents will try their luck. Let's see how that pans out. And equip it. Uh, one more equipment piece. A classical approach to dealing with crowds. The cardinal daggers I will decline. Another equipment piece. A new one. I'm sure you've learned how valuable resources are by now. Scavenger's cap. Whenever the player gains food, they will receive 45% extra food. Are Decline. you sure that's the right approach? Mm-hmm. 25 gold. 
and the token is now mine. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Dead King's Hall. That comment kind of had nothing to do with the card. <laughs> you see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Two monster cards. Attempt to take them by surprise. A choice. Select your desire. Let's do this one. Awesome. Suddenly, you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before they can even react. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Skip. Oh, traps! Freeze him! See if I can actually knock him back into the trap. Nope. Get hit by the traps. Do it. It hit him. And you're ooh. I sliced his Achilles heel and he exploded like a putty. You loot the room. The dealer draws you three gain cards. More equipment. <laughs> Forty-two's breath. Well, it's automatically better than just a plain old shield, so take it, even if it won't help. Three. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Fifty health. It's not max health, so that's not really helping me. Another shop. Approach. I doubt it has blessings, but that would be nice. Can sell my old shield. Sell the helms that I'm not using and artifacts that I'm not using. There's a medium armor I can get rid of. And keep the rest. <laughs> Just one item. No, I'm gonna keep... You know what? It, the game keeps trying to give it to me. And the Queen of Dust might hurt me with uh, only 75 health. So I will go ahead and get it. They keep trying to pass this off on me. Yes, equip it. Dude, go ahead and buy three food. Three more. Let's get out of here. It should be the last two cards. Another rockfall. An accident or a trap. I wonder. Hmm. While journeying near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Attempt to dodge the rocks. I don't know this one. At least it's not huge again. While fleeing, you are struck by silver rocks. One pain card. Oh my god. 10 max health. Lost. Just when you think it's over, a large rock bounces off your helm. Looking up, you spot bandits on the hill above you. You hear a voice somewhere above you say, Did I hit him? Run up and attack. Two monster cards. It's gonna be five bandits. Skip. Let's do this. And he hit me immediately. Counter. 
counter him. Counter. Do a shield bash. Another shield bash. Counter. They even bother to counter you, just bash you in the middle of your move. You loot the bodies of the fallen bandits, two equipment cards, another healing cap. Increasing the effect of one sort of magic with another, all you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. As and pleases you. Decline. <laughs> Desperate measures again. I already have it. Decline. All right, Queen of Dust. Let's take you out with 63, 64 health. Noble causes turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Queen of Dust. This desert queen is more lethal in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades are sharp and she is frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. The bandit queen was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years she has bribed and murdered her way to her current position as second in command of the desert thieves, proving herself capable of ruthless cunning. So I have to be careful a of for you, and a token if you succeed. Careful of a powerful crossbow. Let's take this nice and slow and steady. Only two bandits with her. There's the crossbow. If I get hit, there's. If I get hit or reflect? Maybe reflect, reflect! My helmet is supposed to do a force explosion if I get hit or reflect. A... I guess it's if I get hit. Because I just reflected and nothing seems to have happened. I need to take this thing out. Nope, didn't even need to do anything. Let's turn on poison. You're poisoned. You should be. Get out of her rampaging way. I've only been hit once so far. Reflect. Oh, I think it did a force explosion. They, they both kind of got... Oh, I smashed that. Get out of her way. They both acted like they were knocked back by something. Turn on poison. Shield back. Oh, it didn't stop her. Poison again. Bam. Oh, you're not poisoned. Now you are. Just be careful. Shield bash. Get out the way. Another shield bash. Poison again. Should only be a few more. Oh, poison got her. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. For defeating her, I have unlocked his first symbol, the goblet. The goblet upgrades include 
stronger counterattacks. My counterattacks do more damage. Increased stun. Uh, my stunning attacks now render enemies dazed for longer. New starting gear. Uh, bandit and skeleton strength have both been increased. And bandit throwing knives. Bandits now have throwing weapons. So it adds things that help and things that do not help or help the dealer. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. I'm sorry. For dealing with the helpful priest, you receive a health potion, gives 15 health. Healer's Ring, Charity, which is, uh, I guess, the next step in the priest storyline. For plundering a locked treasure chest, you receive a draw two, keep one card, and Fool's Gold. I wonder if that is a mask or a ring. Probably a mask since that looks like a nose and mouth. As a reward for defeating my bandit queen, you receive th these new cards. Jack of Plague. Asleep in the forest. Mage's Tower. Field of Poppies. As a reward for defeating my bandit queen, you receive these new cards. Fleet Cuffs. Armor of Cold. Huge Hammer. Come. Play again. Oh, I will. Next time. Thanks for watching.